Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm going to be talking about the episode from Season 2, Episode 17, The Heritage, where John considers selling Walton's Mountain. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. As the episode begins, Grandpa is helping John at the sawmill, and he feels a twinge in his back. He says he thinks what he needs to do is go up on the mountain and sit in the hot springs. John Boy offers to go up with him. Uh, John isn't taken in by this ploy, but he agrees that they've probably done enough work for today, so he lets the two of them go off up there. Uh, the hot springs were located on the back lot of Warner Brothers Studios, and I'm not sure, although we see what looks like steam coming out of there, I'm not entirely sure if it was hot water. If it was, they probably had to uh, pump that into there because the waters on the back lot were not naturally warm. Now, this hot springs scene is the infamous one from which uh, Will and Richard mooned a tour bus that went by, so being a little naughty there with the uh, visitors. <laughs> While at the hot springs, Grandpa talks about how one can't own a mountain, that they just hold it in trust. This was the same speech, in a sense, that Edgar Bergen gave to John Boy in the homecoming when they were going through the woods in the snow in search of a tree to cut down for Christmas. So in this case, Earl Hamner reutilized this important message about the relationship between the Waltons and the mountain as he had used in the homecoming. We also hear at this point about how Grandpa has deeded the land to John Boy and John. Mr. Harmon has come across John Boy and Grandpa at the Hot Springs. Uh, he says initially that he is doing some land surveying, but as it turns out, he actually uh, goes back to the house and he tells John that he'd love to buy the property that he just really loves this mountain in this area, and he offers him $5,000 for the property. John turns it down. John Boy is adamant, thinking that there's no way they would sell the mountain. The character of Mr. Harmon was played by famed actor Noah Berry, Jr., actually. He was the son of actor Noah Berry and the nephew of actor Wallace Berry. He went on to play uh, James Garner's father in The Rockford Files, for which he was nominated for multiple Emmy Awards. He also went on to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Being asked how much he would sell the mountain for has left John thinking. The family goes on a little picnic down by Drusilla's Pond. And during that time, Mary Ellen asks everyone what they'd do if they had all this money. Uh, John says he would buy Elizabeth a new front tooth. You notice here that Cammie is missing her front tooth. Uh, and many of the others speculate about what they would do with, with a lot of money. Olivia mentions one of the things she would do is visit her sister Frances in Esmont. So here we hear about yet another member of Olivia's family. Grandma and Grandpa are about to celebrate their golden wedding anniversary. They plan a party. Grandma is here with Olivia as she's working to mend various different moth holes and things in her wedding dress, while Grandpa has been planning to dance the clog as he did at their original wedding. This episode um, brings us in contact once again with other members of the community. In this case, John is out fishing with Yancey Tucker. When Mr. Harmon comes by again and confesses that he actually represents a large corporation that is interested in the mountain because they want to build a hot springs resort. These have become very popular since President Roosevelt has been going to one in Georgia. He offers John the astronomical sum in those days of $25,000. More members of our extended community are seen when John Boy goes by Ike's store and finds out that the rumor mill has run amok. And rumors now say that the Waltons are selling out. Mrs. Brimmer has heard that. She heard it from Emily Baldwin, who got it from Ep Bridges, who heard it right from Yancey Tucker that we were offered $40,000. John Boy says, no, this is not true at all, that they wouldn't sell the mountain at any price. Back at the house, John Boy tells John about this ridiculous rumor he heard and finds out that indeed John is considering this offer. 
which would be for the land, but they would be able to keep the house and the mill. However, when Mr. Harmon comes back, he says that now they actually would have to give up the house and the mill because they would want to put a parking lot there. And so it would be in bad proximity, but they would make sure that they built them another house and that they would even help them move. Now, very interesting that they talk about this tearing down the house and putting up a parking lot because that is precisely what happened to the exterior of the Walton house on the back lot of Warner Brothers Studios. It was indeed torn down. It was actually moved over to another studio lot nearby, but in its place where the Walton front yard and sawmill and everything was, became a parking structure. John is really concerned about the idea of not even being able to keep the house and the mill. And you see him here looking at Jim Bob and Elizabeth playing up in the tree house. He talks to grandma and grandpa and grandpa says, leave them out of it. They've had a lot of good years on the mountain and he recognizes how hard John has to work, what burdens are on his shoulders to support 11 family members and that he needs to do what is right for him and for all of them. And so grandpa basically says, if you need to sell, then you sell. John Boy is very upset about the idea of the mountain being sold. It was a very tough decision. I mean, John is contemplating what he feels is best for the family, the opportunities it would present, the difficulties of always being short of money, not being able to do things because of the depression. John Boy goes up on the mountain to where the old fireplace and homestead was for Rome and Rebecca Walton. This set was one that did not exist all the time and would be basically constructed whenever they needed to see this set up on the location. As he revisits various different favorite spots on the mountain, John Boy comes across a cave that he has spent time in. As he goes in, he finds Jason sitting playing music. And the two talk about neither one knowing that the other had found this cave. John Boy points out that there are actually other members of the family who have also discovered this cave at times. I caught this spot in the scene where we're in a two shot of Jason and John Boy. And when we go into a close up, it caught my attention because all of a sudden the rock wall that had been to Jason's left is now on his right where he's leaning against it. And then it goes back over to John Boy and the rock wall is on the other side. So it led me to believe that perhaps this negative had been flipped accidentally when they did the edit, because it just doesn't make any sense for that rock wall, which was nowhere in sight, to suddenly be on his right side. In search of the right answer, John has a conversation with Olivia. She's making up a bed in their bedroom. In this case, as Olivia goes around the bed, we see this other wall that we virtually never saw in this bedroom, and there's a window there. Uh, this was interesting to me because we have a window on one side, which would have been the front of the house. That's the one we typically see. And then all of a sudden there was this wall that seemed to be the back of the bedroom with a window, which would imply that the bedroom sort of sat with and went all the way from the front of the house to the back of the house, and that just seemed odd to me. This wall was very rarely fully put in and not with this window in place. We just didn't see this wall very often. It was typically out and the camera was on an angle so that we didn't see this corner. But in this case, we see all four walls of this room, which meant they had to keep shifting and putting in new walls as they shot it. When John asks Olivia what they should do, she basically says they should do whatever is right for John because that will be what's right for the rest of them. I thought that was just lovely that her primary concern was to support him and knowing that the family would support whatever was best for him. Deciding that it is a full family decision, John gathers everyone at the kitchen table and wants all of their input about what they want because he knows it will impact all of them. Suddenly the lights go out and when they can see again by candlelight, John Boy isn't there. John and Olivia go upstairs to find out where John Boy is and John Boy is in the boys room where Jim Bob and Elizabeth have fallen asleep. 
and he talks to them about how this decision really is most about the two of them because all the rest of them have had many years on the mountain and for the values of the mountain and everything that it has represented to really help form who they are. But these two have not had many years for that to happen yet. So that John should most think about what would it mean to the two of them. Ultimately, John decides they're not going to sell out. They're going to stay right there on the mountain and make, make it work. And we celebrate Grandma and Grandpa's 50th wedding anniversary, where Grandpa does indeed dance the clog. And then he dances with Grandma, who looks just beautiful in her wedding dress with violets in her hair. And we all have a wonderful, joyous celebration. And I thought it was fun that we see Epp playing the guitar. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons about the episode, The Heritage. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be back with more Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.